That minister counseled Stacey Peterson before she disappeared more than two years ago. His testimony said to be key to the case against Peterson in the death of his third wife. Craig Wall is live in Joliet with our continuing coverage. Craig, what's new today? Yeah, Patrick, the minister has now wrapped up his testimony, but his dramatic statement stemmed, he said, from a meeting at a coffee shop that he had with Stacy on August 31st, 2007. Now, Neil Shorey, seen with a shaved head, testified that Stacy told him the night Kathleen Savvy was found dead in 2004, Drew Peterson coached her to lie for him about what happened that night if she were ever questioned by police. The coaching session, Shorey said, Stacy told him, lasted several hours. Now, the judge did not allow Shorey to testify about what Stacy told him Drew said to her that night, but he did recount what she told him she observed about Drew's behavior that night. Shorey said Stacy told him the following, that Drew came home in the early morning hours, he was dressed all in black and carrying a bag of clothes that he dumped in the washer. She looked in the washer and saw that there were women's clothes and noticed that they were not hers. Now, Shorey testified that Stacy did tell him she was tempted to have an affair on Drew, but would not do it. Shorey said Stacy also said that she was scared of the control that Drew had on her life. Shorey said Stacy told him that she said he, Drew, made it very clear she could never get away from him, that she was never going to be with someone else. Small victory for the defense today because of the judge's ruling, which actually was kept secret. Neil Shorey did not get to testify about what Stacy told him Drew said, where he allegedly blurted out that he killed Kathleen Savio. So, small victory for the defense. Shorey again has wrapped up, not clear yet, who's to take the witness stand this afternoon. Alive in Joliet, Craig Wall, Fox Chicago News. All right, Craig, our thanks to you.